this is Freya, and then this is Ragnarok. And this is what Panel looks like. As you can see, he's limping on that right front paw. Ragnarok's just over nine months old, and this is the second time that he's had symptoms of Panel. There are many opinions on what causes Panel and what the best treatment for it is. Some people say that large breed puppies get it from overeating. And the first time that Ragnarok had Panel, he'd just gone through a really fast growth spurt. He'd also had a possible injury. Um, he had jumped off of a bale of hay. And the reason that I remember that is because he's not usually that active. Freya loves to climb and loves to jump off of things. And Ragnarok usually likes to have all four feet on the ground. Um, so that was kind of odd for him to jump off that. I thought, well, he's trying to keep up with Freya now. And so then when I saw him limping later, I remembered that. Um, this time, Ragnarok started to limp while Freya was in heat. And he was in here all alone taking care of the animals. But he seemed a little bit depressed and he wasn't very active during that time. Um, and now that he's got her in here again, then he's a lot more active. And I really think from my observations that he does better when he does use the limb. Some things that I have read say that limiting the use sometimes makes it better. But it seems like the more he lays around, the longer it takes for him to get um, feeling better and walking normally. When I came out to feed them, then he'd been sleeping and so had she. And um, so he was limping quite bad. But if I was to stay out here and observe them for a long time, pretty soon he'd be running around and, and using that leg almost normally. And so that's what seems to be the best thing for him. I have heard of people like putting their dog on bed rest and not letting him use it at all. But I would be afraid of mu muscle atrophy and it getting worse because of that. So anyway, I haven't tried to restrict his use of that leg at all. And last time it healed up in about maybe a week. And so I'm hoping that now that he's got Freya out here with him, that he'll get back to normal. We are pretty sure that it wasn't caused by overeating this time because while Freya was in the other pen, he only had his own food to eat. There was no way he could have been eating her share of the food because he was only getting the exact recommended amount that there was, you know, that was written on his dog food bag. Most sources say that the cause for Pano is unknown but that the symptoms will gradually decrease until it isn't a problem anymore after he's 18 months old. So we're looking forward to that. It's not fun to see your dog hurting like this. But like I say, the more he uses that leg, usually the better he is.